Hey everybody and welcome back. Hope your guys' this weekend went pretty well. Alright, let's jump right into the, not really news, but I'm going to talk about Steep. Uh, first impressions, I did get a chance to play it over the weekend as you guys can see in the background. I'm playing Steep as I am speaking. So there was an open beta this weekend. It ran through Friday until uh, today actually at 11 p.m. Pacific time. So that'd be like California area. And overall, uh, the game is pretty good. I mean, I don't know if it's $60 good. But it has its it has its moments, I guess. So let's first start off off with uh, just graphics. I mean, the graphics are pretty good. I mean, you guys can probably see from the video. You can look out pretty far in the draw distance. There's just like uh, rolling mountains. It's just snowy. Um, it just looks really, really good. The snowboarders look good, or I shouldn't say snowboarders. The sport, the athletes, the character uh, rider, I guess to be more specific, looks very good. Uh, you can buy gear for it. Uh, the gear looks fun and just fun to use. I have like a clown mask and stuff in the game I bought. Um, you guys will probably see Steep for the next couple gameplay videos too because I did record a lot of gameplay on the open beta, so just forewarned. So yeah, I, I bought like a clown mask, I bought new skis, bought a new snowboard, bought or had like a GoPro, wingsuit and stuff. So graphically, the game looks really good. I'd give that probably an 8 or 9 out of 10, just... And I played on, on my new 4K Vizio TV that I bought on Friday, so it, it I don't know if the old PS4 upscales or not, but it looks gorgeous on the 4K TV, so that was really nice. All right, so let's do sound next. So sound, it sounded really good. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but it was very, very good. I mean, when you get off your board, your skis, your wingsuit, whatever have you, um, when you walk through the snow, the crunching sound of the snow is very satisfying. I have no idea why. But it just, for some reason, it really satisfied me with that. So I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird like that. Uh, you hear like birds chirping, wolves Halloween, howling. Um, you got uh, just other sounds that you're going to have on the mountaintop. You got the wind swirling. I mean, it's it's very, very well done there with the sound too. But then again, it is an open beta. So we'll have to see how the final product is just because it's an Ubisoft game. I have not trusted them as of late. So, I mean, we'll have to see when this game comes out. And then, I mean, the concept of the game is very good, too. So, uh, the concept of the game is basically you do these challenges. You try to do, like, a time trial kind of thing. Or you try to beat the time. You do some tricks. You can do trick trials. You jump out of a hot air balloon. You can do all this other stuff. It's very, very fun. But after a while, I don't know if it's just me. But I get very bored of doing the same thing over and over and over again. It doesn't matter what mountain I'm on. It doesn't matter what challenge I'm doing. It just feels like, ugh, it's kind of bland. But I hope that can change in the final release. I don't know if you guys felt the same way about Steep or if you guys have not played the beta. Um, I'm trying to give you guys a, just an unbiased best opinion of the game and what I personally thought. But yeah, like, I, I, I don't, that's why I said I don't know if it's worth the 60 bucks. I mean... It's a very well put together game. I mean, they're taking a huge risk with this. They're they're kind of going in on this all out because this was kind of an out of nowhere game that they are making. So very very interesting. So uh, it's kind of weird to see Ubisoft go in this direction. But hey, this game comes out on December second, so we'll have to wait and see. But I don't know how the online aspect is really going to work. If that's how it's it's going to be, like where you don't actually face anybody phys face to face online, you just kind of do their old challenges that they did. And along those lines, uh, the wingsuiting is very fun. You can choose between four different um, things, sports. You can do wingsuiting, parachuting, skiing, or snowboarding. Or you can just walk around, but I don't know why you'd want to do that. But uh, those are very fun. I wish there was more to do. Now, let me explain. So, like, it'd be cool if they had some smaller stuff. I mean, it's, it's fun to go down the mountains and stuff like that with skiing or snowboarding or wingsuit and wingsuiting is very fun in that game but uh the gopro is really cool but the only thing it's really annoying me is there's not really a whole lot other to do than the challenges because you just kind of need to grind it out and go and do the challenges i wish there was like other stuff you could do on the side like uh even they should add like snowmobiles or something like that that'd be pretty fun to go down a mountain in a snowmobile let me tell you guys that but I think they did say in the beta that there will be a free DLC for Alaska. So I cannot wait for that. There's going to be a whole lot of free DLC, I guess, for the game. Which, hey, if it's free, it's free. I mean, that's cool. But I wish 
there's still I don't really I can't really put my finger on it, but I, there's something holding me back from wanting to buy this game day one. I mean, I might just wait for a sale because I want to get Watch Dogs two as well. I still don't know if that game is going to be worth it or not, so I might just wait for a sale on that one as well. But uh, and then like gameplay, this game plays pretty fairly well. The skis feel like you're on skis. The snowboards and that and this and that and the wingsuit is really fun. It's kind of, if you guys play Just Cause three, it's kind of the same difference with the wingsuiting, except you're going down a massive, massive mountain tops, which is pr- quite fun. So, but the tricks you can do tricks and stuff to do the skill challenges. They're not very good. The tricks are are repetitive. They're boring, and it's just uh, I'd give that like a two out of ten, just because it's it's not. It's not very good. I, 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 don't, I don't know what it is. I wish they'd do some more stuff that are actual real, real good tricks that you can do. I mean, you can do like a 900. You can do a backflip, front flip, um, grab, like you grab the snowboard or whatever. Um, a couple other ones. But, I mean, they're not really intuitive and fun. So, I, maybe they'll add more in the future. I have no idea. But as of right now, this game looks solid. But it just needs a little bit more to put it over the edge and... I mean, I, I, like I said, I'll probably end up buying the game because I think it looks like a very good concept. I'm just probably not going to buy it day one. I mean, graphically, I said it looked good. Sound is pretty good. Gameplay is, eh. It feels like you're almost driving a car. with like When you're skiing and snowboard, you're steering, you're going through. I mean, you can only do that so many times before it's like, okay, this is kind of stupid. I'm going down the hill for the 100,000th time, and this is actually getting very boring. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what Ubisoft has in store for this game. Um, like I said, I've had very, very good, pretty good experience with the game. I mean, overall, I, I don't think it's a failure. I just think it needs to add a little bit more. Maybe they, maybe they're rushing this out too soon before, like for the winter months, just because you have the snow season. So maybe they thought it would sell well during this month. I have no idea, but, uh, I, I really, like when I said it needs more and I, I thought I was going to be able to explain it, but I can't. Because I really don't know what it needs. It just, my gut is saying, this game needs just something else. Like snowmobiles. I think that'd be cool to have snowmobiles or add more jumps or have like, on like a mountain top, maybe instead of doing like an actual traditional mountain top, maybe they made that into like a huge uh, jump area where you can do skills and stuff. That'd be very cool. I mean, it, it, it just needs a little extra stuff that I think would make the game amazing. And... That's pretty much my first impressions on the game. I think I'll give it a s- either a 6 or a 7, somewhere in there. It's not perfect, but it's still a very, very good game. I mean, like I said, it's a solid foundation. They just need to execute on putting more stuff into the game. Soundtrack is alright. I wish there was music playing while you are actually um, not doing the challenges because it seems like it kicks on when you're doing the challenges and really, I, really, I want to listen to music while I'm just doing other stuff as well, so... That's another little gripe I have about the game, but... I mean, overall, like I said, the game looks very good, and I cannot wait to see what happens when it comes out. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see on that one. So that is basically my first impressions of Steep. Um, If I missed anything, if you guys want to know something about it, I can try to tell you. But uh, like I said, it will be out December 2nd. That's not next week, but the week after, I believe. I haven't looked at a calendar. Let me just pull it up real quick. Let me check where December 2nd is. That is uh, not this Friday, but next Friday. So that's when the game is coming out, I believe. I'm almost, I'm like 99.9% sure that it's coming out on that day. So, yeah, if I missed anything, like I said, let me know. But uh, that is my first impressions, and that is all I'm going to talk about in this video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. I will talk to you guys again soon. Have a good one.